You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. The Winnipeg Singers present a belated celebration in honor of the province's sesquicentennial. Manitoba Mosaic Songs of Our Heritage premieres online this weekend. And to learn a little bit more about the project, Maestro Yuri Claus of the Winnipeg Singers has joined me. Hello, Yuri. Great to see you again. Simon, hello to you too. And great to see you as well. Well, uh, Manitoba, our, our province, has long been hailed as a singing province. And of course, the Winnipeg Singers are one of the preeminent choral groups here. Tell us a little bit about this first concert in the 2021-2022 Winnipeg Singers season. Yes, so this concert was inspired, uh, as you mentioned, by the Manitoba uh, anniversary, 150th anniversary, uh, which was 2020 in 2020, and uh, obviously, uh, because of the pandemic, there was no uh, no option to to do that concert, and everything was postponed. So, but we thought that it's very important to highlight this milestone, and uh, we decided to do the virtual presentation again. Unfortunately, we're not uh, able to do live concerts at the moment. Sincerely hoping we will. But yes, virtual presentation on uh, Manitoba Mosaic, as I said, inspired by, by the anniversary. Yuri, I, 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 like you say, I mean, this is one of those concerts, like so many that have been delayed due to the pandemic, but, but the musical celebration is still happening nonetheless. And I was just looking at the, the rundown of, of composers on this program, and it is far reaching and I mean there's just so so much music and, and so many composers to choose from when we look at our, our our shared Manitoba heritage how did you go about piecing this program together well the the uh the main uh goal uh behind this program was to highlight the great diversity of Manitoba and uh certainly to uh, uh reflect on many um uh of many groups uh, building the Manitoba community and people who immigrated from those uh, uh, groups like uh, uh, United Kingdom, Germany, Russia, uh, Ukraine, and obviously we were uh, hoping to highlight the, uh, uh, those composers or arrangers and that's why you see on the list uh, W.H. Anderson, who immigrated to Canada uh, from United Kingdom in 1910. Uh, Miroslava Pachas, who recently immigrated in 1996. She's the, uh, the conductor of Okoshitz Choir from Ukraine. Of course, she immigrated. And uh, like you can, uh, we, we couldn't not feature Healy Willen, although he's not a Manitoba composer, but uh, he immigrated to Canada in 1913 from the United Kingdom as well. So uh, myself, I'm an immigrant from Russia for 22 years now, and I'm uh, glad and honored that we uh, put a uh, uh, piece by Sergei Rachmaninov, one of the movements of his Vespers. And as a matter of fact, Rachmaninov himself was an immigrant. He uh, in, uh, immigrated, he left Russia after the revolution in 1917. So it's a lot of connections there. And we certainly wanted to highlight all these communities, uh, the Mennonite community, the Ukrainian community, uh, Russian community, French community, Jewish community. So Sid Rabinovich uh, wrote um, uh, a nice arrangement of the uh, uh, song from Manitoba song school, uh, school songbook. And actually he wrote three uh, uh, all together, but we were just doing one. And there's also music uh, I noticed on the program of uh, Andrew Balfour, a composer of, of Creed Descent, yeah. a familiar name in the choral community, of course, with Dead of Winter, formerly Camerata Nova. Um, yes. And I mean, like you say, it is just such a, a diverse program and, and really spanning all sorts of different groups and, and people who have made uh, and, and organizations and groups that have made a mark on the choral scene here in the province. Mm -hmm. um, now, I am very curious about uh, how this concert will be presented. I mean, it, like you say, uh, another virtual concert premieres on Sunday available to view through November 28th. Tell us a little bit about what audiences can expect, the, the, the vision behind the recording. This program is built uh, within, say, two components. One, uh, the, one is the archival recordings of the Winnipeg Singers from the Rich History of the Choir. And then the four pieces were recorded uh, uh, specifically to this presentation. And also 
for those newly recorded pieces, uh, the audience will see the images of the choir, which we, uh, we made with help of Ivan Hughes, our videographer uh, in the um, uh, ruins of the monastery in uh, St. Norbert. Mm, what a so beautiful very, venue. Very yeah. lovely setting and uh, it really, really uh, go, um, goes very uh, like great with the history of Manitoba. So that's what the audience will see. And uh, they will see also uh, various images uh, attached to the archival pieces. And this is sort of a program. We also have a narrative part, uh, absolutely beautifully done by Derek Murphy. Mm. And uh, well, that's basically what it's going to be like. Yeah, no, I mean, it sounds like a, a multifaceted approach to this virtual concert. I'm, I'm yes. really curious to hear. Uh, well, I mean, it's always great to hear Derek Morphy. We've heard the commercials on Classic 107. His voice is instantly recognizable, of course, uh, but Absolutely. also so thrilled to see uh, what Ivan Hughes creates with, with Compass Digital Media. You've worked with him before, and he just such a, a phenomenal producer. Um, I, I am curious. I mean, you, you mentioned that we're not quite able to do uh, live concerts yet. Um, you know, there's certain limitations when it comes to singing, though, admittedly, it seems to be a little bit of a, a, a gray area when considering double vaccination and mask wearing. What's it been like for you to work with the Winnipeg Singers again um, out, at, out, out at the Trappist Monasteries and to have everybody singing um, together? Well, um, we're really following all this uh, uh, precautionary measures and I'm very glad and grateful that we eventually started rehearsals this fall mm -hmm. and uh, we were recording separately the uh, the lines the, the the pieces for uh, for that presentation and then when we were outside we were singing uh, with no masks but the recording was done in masks and certainly that might affect it a little bit but I'm sure it went pretty well. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm sure I'm sure that it did and I mean like it like you say it's just it's so nice to be able to. Um, make yeah. music again after a, a good year and a half of really no singing apart from singing at home uh, on yeah, our own it, into a Zoom. It was yet. basically 19 months. Uh, I haven't seen the choir in, in, in full. And uh, it was absolutely a wonderful experience, a sense that, oh, we, we're coming back. We, 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 we can do stuff again. Uh, limited, but, but still. Yeah, that, that hope is now there again. And like you say, it just, it warms the heart to have that music um, in, in person. And so for now, we're gonna have to wait. There's exciting things on the horizon for Winnipeg Singers. Lots going on in this 2021-2022 season. Um, but more immediately this weekend, the latest virtual uh, presentation, Manitoba Mosaic. Uh, Yuri, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me today. My pleasure, Simon. Uh, Manitoba Mosaic Songs of Our Heritage premieres Sunday, November 14th at 3 p.m. Access to the link available for just $20. For more details, visit classic107.com or winnipegsingers.com.